guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are going to be making something just really cute and tiny. I've been working on a lot of big pieces lately and I thought something cute would be a nice refreshing break from just the massive projects that I've been working on. Oh, by the way, I've got a new plant. <laughs> this is actually a cutting from one of my mom's pothos and I've currently got it going up the wall and around my bookshelf and stuff. So it looks really cute. I'll cut to some footage for you guys to see that. And then also, it's kind of hard to see, but you can tell we're at a different angle, and that's because my lights no longer are on tripods. No tripod. So nice. Especially because I had one back here that was kind of in the walkway of getting into my area, and I've almost knocked it over and broken it so many times. Anyways, let's get back to the project. I haven't even mentioned that yet. Today we are going to be making some angel mice, so let's get started. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be making a lot of little art dolls. Um, the project for this video is kind of tiny and simple, so I figured I'll take advantage of it and we can put a bunch of them in my shop. So I'm going to start on the clay pieces first. I'm going to make the little faces for our mice. I have some tin foil basically kind of scrunched up into little balls and I've got them glued onto glass containers. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll out a little bit of clay and then we can cover each tin foil ball with a thin layer of clay. I'm then going to shape them just a tiny bit. I don't need to do too much because they're already pretty much in the shape that I need them. And then I'm going to take some glass beads. I really didn't have anything this size other than these teardrop beads, but they're going to work just fine. So I'm just going to push these into the sides of the face, make sure they're nice and level, and then we can start adding some clay around them to make the cheekbones and the eyelids. I'm then going to move on to making the mouth and the nose. For this, I'm going to roll out some balls of clay for the little cheeks and for the nose. So I'm going to take two larger balls of clay and I'm going to use those for the cheeks. I'm going to smoosh them onto the front of the face and kind of blend them in. And then right above that, I can add the smaller ball of clay and blend that in as well. I'm then going to use my tools and define the shape of the mouth and the nostrils and just kind of clean the lines up a little bit. Then I can add some texture to the face and then I'm also going to be adding some holes right behind the eyes and this is where we're going to add our fabric ears later. So I just need a little hole that way we have somewhere to glue them. So I'm going to get all of the clay heads done and once they're ready we can put them in the oven for about 45 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Now we can move on to making the clay feet. So for the clay feet, I'm going to be using wire frames for them so I have something to build them off of and I'll just make them a little sturdy because they're kind of thin and fragile. Nothing too complicated. The front legs are going to be a little bit different than the back legs though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out some clay and make some strips and we can start covering up our wire frame. I'm obviously going to have to add a little bit more clay at the end because we have the feet there, but I'm just going to make sure to get everything completely covered up and then we can start sculpting everything. Now I've made the feet pretty simple. There's not a ton of sculpting involved in them. I'm mainly just going to be breaking up the ends of the feet into toes. So I'm just going to use my tools and kind of break up the clay, spread them, and try and make a little bit of a padding shape at the bottom. Now this was the part where making multiple mice really was kind of, I was questioning it because I'm making six and each one obviously has four, so that's a lot of feet to make. So I was working on feet for quite a while. <laughs> Anyways, once I got all my feet done, I'm going to put them in the oven as well and I'm going to bake them for about 40 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Now that we have all of our clay pieces done and baked, we can start on the painting. So for the painting, I'm actually going to be doing three of the mice an off-white color and three of them a gray color. I just figured I'd make them a little bit different. So when it comes to the faces, I'm going to be painting 
three of them a off-white and three of them a gray and then with the feet I'm gonna be painting all of them kind of a very pale pink to start off with so I'm just going to be doing kind of like a primer layer first and get my color down and then once I have everything primered I can start adding more details I'm gonna start with the faces first so I'm going to take that same pink that we were painting the feet with and I'm going to add a little bit of color to our cheeks. So I'm just going to add a little bit of pink to the very front of the face and try and blend it in a little bit. And then other than that, I just need to paint the eyes a nice black. So I'm just going to go over those beads that we have and just kind of clean them up with the black paint. Obviously, we don't want them to be swirly blue and green colors. And then with the feet, what we're going to be doing is kind of whitewashing over them, just kind of adding some highlights here and there. And then the ones that are going to go to the gray mice, I'm going to add a bit of gray at the base of them and blend it into the pink just a tiny bit. Other than that, I need to add some paw pads. So I'm actually going to be painting these on with kind of, it's more of an off pinkish purpley color and I'm just gonna go over the toes and the base of the paw pad. And just like sculpting these clay feet, painting them took forever as well, but I finally got all of them done. Okay, so now we can start on the sewing. So this is the pattern that I'm going to use to make my mice. Um, I've left it as simple as I can, plus I'm trying something different with how we connect the legs to it, but you'll see that once we start putting everything together. So I'm going to start with the fabric for the body. Each body has a left and right, and I'm just going to connect these two by sewing down the backs of the mice. And then for the tails, I've left it where the pattern is pretty much on one piece so I can fold it over and just sew on one side. So I'm just going to do that with the tail and we can add it to the end of the body. So for our wings for our little mice angels, I have some fake leather cut out into the shapes of the feathers. I'm going to have these layered, that way we don't have just one set of flat feathers. It'll look a little bit more realistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fabric glue and I'm going to glue our layers together. First, the larger ones back to back, that way you don't see the backing of the fabric because it just doesn't look as nice as showing off the leather. So I'm going to do that and then I can take the smaller layers and I can glue those on each side. Then we just have a little bit of our fur fabric and I'm going to glue it to the base and I'm going to use this later to sew it into place. Now when sewing the body, I completely forgot about the wings and I just closed up the backing all the way and I need to kind of fix that. So basically I'm going to figure out where I want the wings and I'm going to cut away the seams at that spot. Then I can insert the wings in place and we can re-sew this spot. So it wasn't too big of a deal, but I did have to fix that. Thank you. 
And then for the fabric for the legs, both the front and back legs each have a left and right. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew down the front of them and going around the top portion. So I'm gonna do that to all of those and then we can actually start putting everything together. So since we're already sewing the legs, let's get started on that. So now that we have the sewing done, I'm just going to flip these right side out and do a little bit of stuffing real quick. So I'm just gonna stuff the upper portion of each leg and then I can take our clay feet and we can start gluing the fabric around the bases of those. So I'm just going to kind of glue that in place, finish the stuffing, and if we need to do any more sewing, we'll end up sewing the rest of it closed as well. And that's pretty much how you make little mice drumsticks. <laughs> Now moving on to putting the body together, at first I thought I would add a posable spine to our mice, but with them being so small and my wires being so large, it's just a little bit too thick and it was going to make the mice a little bit too stiff and I didn't like that so I thought about it and then I just cut the wires off of the heads. Anyways, we're going to be gluing our heads in place. So I'm just going to take the fabric for the neck portion of the body and we're going to glue it around the base of the head. Now, I didn't make this large enough, so I'm going to make a little bit of a triangle of fur and glue it at the bottom and then we can sew and stuff the rest of the body up. Now just because our mice aren't going to have wire frames doesn't mean we can't make them poseable. So I'm going to try and make a simple version of a teddy bear joint. And a teddy bear joint is basically where you can kind of, it's basically a joint. You have it where the legs are connected in a way where you can turn them. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the back legs first and I'm pretty much sewing them in place. So I'm going to run my thread through my uh, back leg first and then I'm going to run it through the body where I want to connect the legs. I'm going to run it all the way through and we're going to add the other leg on the other side. And I'm just going to do this kind of going back and forth a couple times to make sure I've got it nice and secure, pull tight and then I just need to tie it off. And I'm going to do the same thing to the front legs. Other than that, I just need to finish up the face. So I made some really cute little fabric ears and I'm going to glue these into those holes. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue into each hole and I'm going to use a tool to push the ear into the hole. I'm going to adjust the ears before the glue dries, just make sure they're in the position that I want them, and then we can fur our faces. So I have some fur trimmings and I'm just going to add some glue to the face, paint it on and make sure it's nice and even, and then I can add the fur trimmings to the face, use my tools to move everything around, make sure I like where it's positioned. Okay, and here are two of our little mice. I decided to just grab two of them because my hands would be a little full. But yeah, we got the little gray one and the white one. All the legs are nice and poseable. I need to do this with more tiny pieces. It was a lot of fun. I love how just squishy and soft they are, but they're still poseable. I changed my mind. I decided to grab all of them. <laughs> So I'm going to have these little guys all in my shop, so check the links down below for my website. 
I'll have these along with a bunch of other art dolls, so just kind of check it out, see if there's anything that you want to take home with you. But yeah, I have that link down below, and then I have a bunch of other links to a bunch of different art supplies that I like to use to make my art dolls. So if you're just curious and want to see what I use to make mine, or you want to try your own art doll, I've got that all linked down below for you to check out. Now, these are affiliated links, so if you do buy anything through them, it does help support the channel. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!